doesn't taste like fish at all. Sand! It's basically gonna come right through Tokyo. Mm. So we have raw chicken here. We're gonna eat some. What is it called? Tori no tataki. Ah, uh, tori no tataki. So Am I gonna try it? Very much. Tataki. Like, chicken? Or so yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna try this raw chicken. It's actually really good. Really? Yeah, it just tastes like chicken. Yeah. I actually really like the Miyazaki version of Oden. The egg was like amazing. I see it. Mm. Wait, so Tanuki is considered, Raccoon is considered what? A good teacher for people who like to drink? Yes. Okay. And we don't want to lose ourselves too much. Ah. So Raccoon, as I mentioned, those points. Yeah. Big eyes. He's very clever. Yeah. Dude, Money fudge. Yeah. And smile. Big balls. So he means big balls. <laughs> Sorry, I had to add that in. He's a, you guys can learn a lot from Raccoon. So if you go mm. to a Japanese restaurant, that's the reason there's always a little bit uh, of like, okay. Don't forget yourself. Don't lose yourself. Ah, oh, like, noted. Okay. okay. And this is a little story that if you touch the stomach, it gives you good luck. <gasps> a lot of people say that. So is that touch it, touch yeah, it. Exactly, exactly. Down. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We have moved on to restaurant number two. We are at a Hokkaido restaurant and we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna eat, but first we're gonna eat drink some sake. And they always overflow it. What is This one is the Hoka. Okay, sweet, fruity, elegant. Yes. And it's all sweet. The taste itself is very sweet. Yeah. So it's definitely fruity and strong. Wait. So we're gonna eat karage, but it's not regular chicken style. It's fugu, which means puffer fish, the blowfish. Yeah. Actually, I used to live in Mie, and um, the area that I lived in in Mie was famous for fugu, and I never got to eat it there. So I get to try it now. Mm. Doesn't taste like fish at all. It's like a chicken, right? It's like chicken with a slight taste of haddock. Yeah.
rice ball is freaking huge. It's like a whole bowl of rice. Now we're gonna finish off with dessert, which is taiyaki. I love taiyaki. I got the red bean one. Mmm, it's warm and fresh. Okay, so I'm back from my food tour with Arigato Japan Food Tours and I actually had a really good time. It is a three hour tour and if you guys are interested in anything that they do, I will link them down below. I have to say, you know, even as someone who has lived in Japan for quite some time, this is like, I don't even know, how long have I been in Japan for? Seven? This is my eighth year or something like that. It was still fun and interesting and new to like learn new things about Japan that I didn't even know about. Um, how certain dishes are eaten certain ways and why they're eaten this way and I learned like why there's so many stores under the train tracks because of like the bombings in World War II and all this stuff. Like you just learn a lot of history about the area that you're in and doing the food tour and why it is the way it is and it was really interesting to learn that for me. Um, because I never, I've been to Shinbashi so many times, but I didn't know that about Shinbashi, you know? I work tomorrow, I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Tea's here. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Hey guys, it is Friday. It's another day here in Tokyo, Japan. Well, actually, I live in Yokohama, but I'm going to Tokyo and I'm going to be meeting Ariana and Sam. I don't know if anyone else is joining us, but we're going to eat yakiniku. I'm so happy that it's Friday. It's hot as balls today. Um, even though it's September, it still gets like really hot in Japan. It doesn't really get cool until, I don't even know, October, mid-October. I love yakiniku. It's actually one of my favorite things to eat. It's tabehodai, which means it's all you can eat. And I kind of love the name of the restaurant. It's called like Gatsu. <laughs> like guts, like guts guts, but I think they serve a lot more than guts and soul, like S-O-U-L. I'm gonna show you guys when we get there. First, I'm gonna show you my outfit for a Friday night tonight and catch a train. Ignore the Amazon package, but this is what I'm wearing. I got this stretchy one piece from Zara before I left for Canada, but I wanted to save it for when I come back to Japan. And I absolutely love this one piece, it's so comfy, and because we're eating yakiniku, I wanted a super stretchy waist and something that is loose, and yeah, that's what I'm wearing. On the train. It's crowded. We can't move. Oh, sorry. What? Me. Okay, we're in a yogi, we're gonna go eat. That's where we're going. That red sign up there. Getso Yayogi store. I am full. Be thankful for the natural world. Sam! Yeah. I haven't seen you in so long. I know. Sam's gonna do us the me. honor of ordering some delicious yakiniku. Please and thank you. Thank you. We have topoki. Topoki? Uh -huh. Somewhere. I ordered this one. Look at how thick this is. Yeah. And they give you scissors at the table so you can easily just cut all your meat. So you pick this up and literally just do this. These are kind of dull. Really? So for one hour, it's 1,600 yen, and we ate a lot, and now we're gonna go to the hub. Heading home now. Sam, do you wanna say goodbye? Bye, guys. It was so nice finally catching up with Sam. Seriously. Whew, 1.40 a.m. I'm all clean, and I'm gonna go to bed because it is way past my bedtime. It's Oh my god, I have hiccups. It's like 1.40 a.m. And I need my beauty sleep. So, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh.
the hiccups. Hello everyone, I literally did nothing all weekend and it's Sunday night and we're getting a big typhoon. I have the news on here and it's talking about the typhoon coming. This is the path of the typhoon. It's basically going to come right through Tokyo. It's going to happen around 3 o'clock is what it's saying, 3 a.m. And this typhoon is supposed to be quite strong apparently. Um, I don't know, I feel like every time they say something about a typhoon, it's like never that strong. But I think this one might actually be a strong one, you know? We're all going to be sleeping by the time it hits, so... I guess I want to wake up and see if the trains are running or not. Like, the KQ line is already down in Yokohama because the, one of the trains hit a car or hit a truck, so that line has been down since Thursday? Yeah, so... It's gonna be so much more hectic if that line's not open and everyone's like with the delays of the typhoon and stuff. Okay, so I showered, tea showered, and um, they actually recommend that you fill your bathtub with water. So I'm gonna fill our bath like about halfway. I don't know like if the power goes or not. I guess it's better to be safe than sorry because this is the first typhoon to actually hit like this area in four years. Usually they like swerve when we get a little bit of one, but this one's actually passing right through us. And the news said it's supposed to be like 200 kilometers an hour winds. So anyway, so now that we all showered, I can fill up our bathtub. So I'm gonna put the drain down and it doesn't really need to be hot. And yeah, I know my bathtub's weird. It comes from the vent or the drain thing here. So like the tub drains there, but the water comes from here. So she's reporting from Atami. She's reporting from Atami, which is southern Kanagawa. So the typhoon's coming. But I'm about to go to bed soon after I upload this YouTube video. Okay, so I'm up and ready to go to work, but the trains aren't running. So a lot of the stations I've been seeing on Twitter have lineups outside. There's some flooding around my home. My roof is flooded. Well, like the side roof. This is my roof. Um, it didn't get into our house though, thank God. And I'm just happy that our windows made it. The windows were shaking last night and I seen on Twitter that people tape their windows but it was too late for me to even like tape our windows at 3.30 a.m. So it ended up taking some people like two to three hours to get to work. Anyone that braved it out and took two to three hours to get to work, which I know maybe some of you guys are watching, you guys are freaking champs. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm glad to see that most people are safe and power is starting to come back on for some people who did lose power. And so this video has a ton of eating with the food tour, meeting Sam, yakiniku, drinks, and then followed by a typhoon. Kind of a mishmash of a vlog, but I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!